again. I currently work as a trainer for the Metropolitan Police and the training we deliver now is very depending on what part of the Met you're joining currently, so whether you're joining as a special or whether you're joining as a police constable but it's more compact, so it's very full on, and we teach people the same things that I learned 24 years ago, how to be a police officer, how to stand like a police officer, how to talk like a police officer, how to look like a police officer. So shut the fuck up, yeah? Are you gonna make it worse? Yeah, you better tell your mate to shut up. I think you just did, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 07827. Because five, his seven, attitude six. will depend what happens with you. Is that? Are you going to punish me for his attitude? Well, right, right. All right. Yeah, that's the way it works. We teach them interviewing skills. We teach people how to sit in front of somebody and get the most information that you can possibly get from that person. How to get them to open up to you. And there's a real skill involved in that. They get really good training, very, very good training. And all in all, what that does is they walk out feeling confident that they can stand up and be a police constable, which is what we're looking yeah, for. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, get a you're a scumbag, bro. You tried to strangle me like a mother. Oh, no, you did strangle me, eh? Don't worry, bro. Why did you strangle me? Why did you strangle me? What did I do to you for you to strangle me? Kicking out what? I was handcuffed. I'm sitting down. Take a look at you, You'd always be a nigger. Yeah, yeah. That's your problem. That's your problem. You're trying to tell me I'm racist. You're trying to tell me racist comments. That's your problem. Hey, hey, oh, five. Yeah? I'll be back. Don't worry, KF45. All the time. I'll yeah? always be a nigga, that's what you said, yeah? You'll yeah. always have black skin colour. Yeah? No problem, mate. No problem. I hear this. Don't hide behind your colour, yeah? I get it all the time, officer. Don't hide behind your colour. All color. the time. Don't worry, yeah? Don't worry. We'll definitely speak again about be you. Be proud. Be proud yeah, of who you are. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will. Don't hide behind your black skin. No color. problem. KF45. Remember you're telling me this, yeah? Yeah? Don't hide behind my black skin. Make sure you do a lot with your 60 grand because you're not going to get it no more, bro. And there is no job in the world like being a police officer for bringing people together and that camaraderie and that looking after each other, you know, watching each other's backs. I mean, that exists to this day. It will never go away. And that is one of the biggest things about being a police officer. It's a different world to any other job. Chances are the van is going to be at the incident where somebody's been captured. That is for the use of officers. If it's prisoners that get captured, they can be sorted when they're in custody suite. We're not messing about with them. I want it for officers. I'm thinking of your welfare and safety, and so that's what I want that used for. All right? It shouldn't be used for them, anyway. Well, from the training they said it's used for officers because it costs 50 quid a shot. Prisoners can bollocks. Well, <laughs> I think that, you know, that went out in the public domain. I think the market should be that. To become a good police officer in the end, you have to be somebody who's got empathy, sympathy, you can stand and you can listen to someone, you've got great listening skills, you've got to have good eye contact, focus on people, have compassion, it's a very big skill, is you have to have compassion, you have to want to help people. Somebody um, flying past the matches on your left, and there's this geezer, it must have been about five in the morning, and this geezer was crouching down on the floor, he had blood pouring out of his fucking wrist. <laughs> I said, you see that man over there? It's says, that man over there, that fucking injury to his arm, he's sort of crouching down, he looks like he's about to pass out of his... No, you didn't see him. Being an Asian ethnic female officer myself, I get a lot of respect within my borough. I have a lot of Asian um, females um, and people from the Asian community come over and speak to me and ask me about my role, how I find it. I find it very, very interesting and diverse. Well, you just got to be careful. Like, I'm all right at the moment. I'm not slipping up. And I, I probably won't slip up, but I, do, I don't like it. Do you think your problem's out in the street, though? I definitely won't call him when I'm out on the street. I definitely won't say anything to him on the street. But I do hate him. No, no, I, I hate him. My mum used to say, like, when I got accepted, she said, well, you're going to have to change, otherwise you'll be kicked out in two weeks. To be honest, I don't mind. Blacks. Proper blacks. It's just black as they claim everything. What makes me most proud is gaining the respect from the community, my colleagues, and especially my parents and my family. They're very, very proud of what I do, and I'd like to hope that I actually am co contributing a massive um, difference to the community. I'll be honest with you, I was absolutely <coughs> crapping myself going over. Mm. It's 
especially in my previous life of work, I used to fucking rip them off. And I did. Bats, I used to call it. Like, I did tanks. I'm like... <laughs> I remember you feel like that. But, I'll tell you what, man, it is amazing, like, none, none of the packy lads wear seatbelts. So they're all getting it tomorrow if I see any. Right, they think they're fucking brilliant. We did three artists the other day, purely on people not wearing the seatbelts, and every single one of them were a packy. Because what what <laughs> tries to tell me to do is to stop a car for a reason. No, rather than just stopping them and say, what the fuck is that me for? Oh, I've just stopped you, mate. Two things right now. You've got a brake light out. Oh, you're not wearing your seatbelt. I'm going to do a document check on you. And he said, right, what we'll do today, Carl, is we'll, we'll just do what? He said, well, what bother with, like, non-endorsements or whatever? He said, we'll just stop people now that have, like, doing an offence for us to start with. I went, right, OK, then. And every single one of them had a Right, we might have to stop a white person on the weekend just to even the figures up. We sort of work together, which I think is the most important part of being a police officer, being part of a team. Uh, we're a small cog in a big machine, and uh, you know we we work really hard to support each other. What about the Asians, though? I mean, do they, do they cause you? The Not really, because we don't have, have that many. Problems. We don't have many uh, ethnic minorities around here at all. What do you think of them, though? To be honest, I think they're pain at the fucking arms. They rip the fucking system big star off the record, and uh, they fucking and they'll try and pull fast one on every time. Like around here, if, if there's a car full of black people or a car full of Asians, you pull it because we've got no, we've got no really ethnic minorities around here. You can guarantee it'll be full of shit coming across the rail or doing something. I would pull a car full of black lads. And one of them was wearing body armour, so it was like, ah, oh, everybody out, you know. So, I mean, if you, if, you saw, if you saw a car with a black ladder and anything like you'd pull it? Not ones or twos, but, you know... If, no, two, two or three black yeah, lads. Two, yeah, I'd pull it. You know, it's hard as a police officer sometimes to, uh, you know, pick a good day, because, you know, I love what I do. Uh, I've done it for, you know, a considerable period of time, 19 years now. And uh, I love coming to work. I love coming to work. Uh, meeting people, you deal with good things sometimes and you can deal with bad things sometimes and you know some of the incidents that we are sent to deal with um, you know, can be quite traumatic sometimes. Now, most blacks in London carry drugs and had offensive weapons, most blacks in London carry drugs, that's the fucking way it was. Even the chief commander come out and said most black people in London commit robberies and crimes and fucking... I mean that thing that Michael Todd said GMP being right, institutionally racist. Yeah. That was Dave Will, not that. Dave that Will. was the last one. What do you think about that? Yeah, probably fucking hell. I think more than just fucking institutionally racist. I've had the race car played on me in my seven weeks that I've been there. I stopped a, an Indian bloke and did a, did a free pointer for him going through a red light. And all he fucking said to me was, You're doing this because I'm fucking. Black, I'm fucking cousin from India. So I said, yeah, fucking am. There's your ticket. Fuck off. <laughs> but as a team, you know, you deal with those pressures together, and you almost count to yourselves dealing with those. Um, although there is, you know, if needs be, um, the Met has people who counsellors who can can help you. But you know, if you've got a good team, you, you'll deal with it together, and you know that's the thing that keeps you going. Really, it's is your team. I you think being in the job though, for such for you know, a length of time, makes you approach people differently or it makes you approach a white person differently to an Asian person. Yeah. Because all Asians I know are lying bastards. And that's got to affect the way you do your job, then. Yeah. I mean, the Metropolitan Police is the worst. The worst for what? Racist. That force, man. Jesus. Do you think that it will have changed? No. No. So why it will never change? Because the selection procedures for the police... There's no selection procedure for any job, I don't think, that can ever stop a person having their own views on certain things. If you're out on patrol, say, fucking hell. He's got no belt on, he's an agent, but he's a white. Stop that, fucking. Not wrong with that. I've done that. 
Have you noticed the BMPs fucking shooting up? More and more people are supporting them as the fucking thing is going on. Do you not support them? Not well, the gun killer. In the job. Doesn't stop dog killing. Does it not? <laughs> if I could, I would. Do you not know, right? Do you agree with the politics? I don't, do you agree with throwing the whole ethnic minorities out of the country? Yeah. I like to think uh, an important part of being a police officer is resilience. You've got to be able to adapt and change. I love speaking to people. Within Southwark, we've got you know quite a diverse community there. But if you're friendly, your persona comes across. And doesn't matter what nationality people are, they, they pick that up. Do you reckon someone like you coming out of Bruges would then, um, shall we say, racist tendencies just fit right in North Wales Police? I'd be on the outside, right, if it did. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't be one of the lads if it did, I don't think. So have, you, have, you had, so have you had the chance to put your views into action yet? Gave one to Alfred's penalty ticket, right? Yeah. And then, and then just a kicker in the bollocks, he's done more, I gave him another £60 one for no tax. £260 and six points I put on that fucker's licence. What, an easy? Rob told me that half an hour before, he had stopped a white woman with no insurance, but had used his discretion to let her off with no fine. He behaved very differently when he stopped the Asian motorist. How did you do that? I said, that's all. I haven't got any powers to use my discretion because they're on this operation. I said, what I've got to do now is issue with £200 with the penalty with six points on your licence for the no insurance. His eyes filled up. Thank you, officer. I'm afraid you haven't got any insurance, but that's what you've got, sir. You leave here now, you'll be committing other offences. I cannot allow you to leave. Him, his wife, and three kids out in front of your car. So, oh, wow, well, that's an holiday camp. <laughs> Give me a bunch of It's amazing, so you're in exactly, two exactly the same situations. And you, and, you let one, and you let the white one go, and you've done the Asian. Told you about that before, though. Go for the higher one with them. Yeah, but no bother, mate. And I went to bed that night and I fell straight asleep like a baby with a clear conscience. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, have a lot of pride in what we do and have the public's the public being proud of what we do. If you do something that you really love and you really commit to, then you know it, sometimes it doesn't even seem like work. It's a vacation for me. This job is a vacation for me. And, uh, you know, I'll be doing it till I retire. But we're such a big organisation, the Metropolitan Police. Um, there's so many things that a person can do, diversify into. The people you meet are great. You know, the people you work with are, are great. You know, the support is there from your colleagues and the people you work with. There's things that are uh, set up within the Met to support you. It's a great organisation to work for. Oh, it was supposedly genuine, wasn't it? Because mm. yeah. no, at yeah. least I heard it was. Um, and then a load of others come forward, describing the same bloke and the same MO. One porch was while we were there. We spoke to it. Yeah. Just tell her that if she wants to report it, she reports it sort of next week when she's ready. Because. Uh, Take this sort of thing and pinch the song. It's a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, but he says, in my, my experience, they'll, they'll come forward. 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 They'll they didn't even send Socko round. Socko wasn't sent round. It, it might have happened on Tuesday. So what? There's still forensic evidence there on the settee. 
Soccer still hasn't been around. We haven't played soccer around. We haven't requested soccer. Well, what are we playing at? You've been in 12 years, for fuck's sake. Things should have changed after 12 years of bloody... What are we? I don't know. If, if I've been... I, I've just said, if I'm ever raped, then fucking hell, I'm not reporting it to the police. I don't know. I'd rather do myself in, because the help you get from these people are just ridiculous.